from dad and all the other concerts that I've got to see, you know, other Disney stars do. What the kids get most excited about is when they feel like you're talking to them personally. How many of you guys think you guys are the biggest Hannah Montana fans? The first day I didn't really know what was going on. I just heard, okay, well, it's sold out in, you know, less than a half hour. We were just freaking out because I had no idea it was this big. I saw it with the cheetahs and see how fast they got to sell out. But it wasn't the same when it's not your tour. When it's your own tour and you see your name on the tickets and you see what's going on and everyone wants to see you perform, that's what's the most incredible thing. Some people don't, you know, because they don't get to see all the behind the stage and um, they don't see what everyone does. They don't get to see the chance that it's not just me. It's everyone that has to put in all the hard work, like the crew and the band. And, you know, this band, they play for, you know, not just me. They play for a lot of other artists. So they have so many songs built up in their head. And to go out in there and memorize it. Also, it gets hard with the Hannah and Miley when I have to memorize, you know, both songs. And I think people don't really get how hard it is. A typical day on tour is very hectic. It's really fun to have the opportunity to show my fans, you know, backstage. They get to see how much work and fun there is. They get to see me, you know, getting ready from Hannah to Miley, and they kind of get to see behind the stage, which I think that helps the kids understand. Okie dokie, let me show you around the stage. Let me show you back. I'll show you. This is underneath the stage. This is where the dancers get ready. Then I go under here. And straight back there, I ride in my wheelchair all the way underneath where if you look at that little box, that's where I go up in the elevator, which is pretty cool because I sit in that little floor and I rise up. Come back here. I'll show you my dressing room. When we're all set up, all my makeup and hair stuff is set here, all right here. This entire thing is filled with wardrobe and I've got a minute to get ready. the way through. Everything goes on back here. Oh, wait, I'm gonna show you this. Trap door, so I can look out here and know my cues. Mm. Coming in, go down these stairs, and you're back to where we started. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hey. This is where we get all the dancer stuff and all my stuff ready. This is my kind of closet. This is all so what I'll wear tonight. I can take you to my rack of this stuff. This is what I wear when I come out. To make it look like a dress, when really it's, it's a dress, but it's not long sleeves, you would think it was long sleeves because we made this cool little jacket that is exactly the same material, and it goes right like, I'll show you my jewelry. It goes right like this, and so you think it's connected, and you think it's long sleeves with it's on, but then we've got these fancy little buttons underneath here that you can barely see. Then when I just go like this, it comes off and you think I've ripped the whole dress sleeves off when really they're just two different things. And then with my jewelry, this is kind of crazy. With my jewelry, you would think it'd be all different things. They're all together and they're all the exact same thing. So I don't just have one, I have like eight of the exact same pairs of jewelry. And if I don't, then once again, it's messed up because you have to have the continuity and you want everyone to get basically to see the same thing. It won't get the same effect without it. It's really heavy. <laughs> see you girls. And this is my dressing room. Back to the computer. Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. Let's see if I got any new comments. Oh man. It's really cool to be with, one, last year it was really fun being with the Cheetahs, but none of them were my age, they were all a little bit older. And so I have people that are closer to my age and get me a little more and they, um, you know, our music is a lot, not the same, but it kind of has the same vibe. So they kind of get me a little more, which I think is really fun to be out there with people that really understand you and your passion for music. It's going really good, it's like one big family out in the road and we're just having a good time. Fun. This is our first arena tour. Um, as you can see, there's like a million people downstairs working. Um, it's amazing. It's you know the biggest crowds 
consistently every night. It's awesome. Where I got mine. Yep, they're, they're closing. They're having an 80% sale off. Off sale, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna bite you. Oh my god! on what we call lockdown about 30 minutes before the show. She's warming up her voice and getting her makeup put on and the Hannah wig put on and then she's gonna come out here and the band and dancers and my family, we all come out here and we circle up and we have what we call pop off and we all pray together and we just get pumped for the show. So it's gonna be really great and she's getting ready to come out and then she's gonna go rock the Serena. It's gonna be great. <laughs> drives us is our fans, I think, number one, because, you know, you could tour everywhere, you could see every city, you could have the coolest bus, but it really comes down to it when you're on stage in front of your fans, I think every night, it's just, uh, it's a great experience. So, welcome to our green room. Uh, between sets, we have two different times we actually come back here, but um, we actually got this thing made for us. It's right here, it's our entertainment system. It has all different game systems, plasma screen TV, a huge sound system. All our wardrobe cases roll into our, over here. Each one of us has one of this, this is mine. Theirs are out there. Right. Um, couches, food. We have the couch, we have the pillows. We have um, towels to clean ourselves off. Because we get kind of sweaty. <laughs> We've got like the giggles yeah, there. I'm just really excited to go back out and bow. That's what we, we do next. That, that's what the last thing that we do. We get ourselves pumped up, we're gonna go bow. <laughs> I think my main drive is that I feel like um, God is putting me here for a reason and there's, you know, it's not just here because it's, it's work, it's what I was meant to do and it's what is like, it's my, it's my passion and it's something that I can feel strongly about. I couldn't tell you what key most songs start out in, I couldn't tell you exactly how to play it, but I could tell you that I love it and I could tell you what the lyrics mean and what they mean to me and what I feel when I sing the song. Thank you for everyone that came and saw what I did today. It was so much fun. See y'all later. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. 
there's never a repetition of days. There's always new things being thrown at you. You always have a new city and new people to meet, and it definitely keeps you on your toes.